Mind with Moose Girl and Grimnir every Thursday night at 7 p.m. Eastern right here on RealLibertyMedia.com. Dudes! <laughs> Uh, I like that surf music. Anyway, everybody, welcome everybody to the Free Your Mind show with Moose Girl and me, which is Gremner, uh, here live on RealLibertyMedia.com and RLMRadio.xyz, also on TuneIn, uh, on this uh, Thursday, April 15, 2021. And uh, today, yeah. today's show is episode 7 of this show. And uh, what, 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 what do we call it again? Through the ter- through the turmoil and the tinfoil. Right. Yes, yes, yes. I added the through the because he he uses that there mm-hmm. within the song. It's a uh, Billy String song for those of you familiar with Mr. Billy, Mr. B M F S. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, uh, and um. I I'm I'm really a big fan of the tinfoil. I'm not such yeah. a big fan of the turmoil. Um, right. But there's nothing you can really do about that. You have to put up. You have to put up with the turmoil, and hopefully your your tinfoil is well ensconced on your head to protect you uh, right. fr- uh, from some of the fake turmoil. I guess I, I would say. <laughs> Because there's a lot of fake tur- there's a lot of fake turmoil going on out there in the world. Yeah. Uh, there's there, there's some real turmoil too, to right. be to be sure. But a lot of the stuff that you may read or hear or see, whatever um, about various turmoil going on, is is bullshit. Uh, it's nonsense. Um, bullshit yeah. is, is bullshit an okay word for uh, uh, for a broad so. for 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 the FCC. <laughs> I don't know for sure on that one. Yeah. But I think so. All right. All right. <laughs> Good. <laughs> so, so, um, so, most yeah. did did you have any concept in mind uh, with the um, topic idea here for today? No, it just came to me because I was like, well. That song is the chorus is pretty good. Um, yeah, I have the uh, I have the lyrics to that right here. And yeah, I do too. I, I was looking through them, and um, it's mostly about uh, I I think it's about a girl. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, but that's all right. the the uh, the, the concept still remains the same through the turmoil and the tinfoil. Uh, yeah. Just just the way it used to be, but I have a strength and I have learned how to fly on broken wings. So even if you're damaged by the turmoil, um, mm-hmm. y- y- you probably still have that strength, that strength within you, uh, to so that you can still get through whatever it is, whatever kind of turmoil is being tossed your way. And it, it, uh, to me, anyway, uh, it certainly helps whether you have, if you have a tinfoil hat on, and, and it doesn't need to be. A physical tinfoil hat. It, it, it can be a metaphorical one, uh, right? As long as you can shield yourself from the nonsense that's constantly being tossed at you uh, from all directions, and it's it's you know so much worse now than it was say twenty years ago uh, with, with what they've done. Uh, yeah. You know they passed laws so that propaganda uh, for. Uh, for all the various what they call media outlets, the clap um, is allowed now. It's not only al- it's not only allowed, but it's um, strongly pushed upon them to tell the the lies that they are fed. Uh, so um, so there's a lot of turmoil, a lot of uh, upset, I, I guess. Uh, you know, especially in this last year or so with all this Corona nonsense, right. um, you know, the various things that they're doing which started off with the social distancing, worked its way into to masks and then lockdowns, uh, and then now it's... Just... Well, I think a lot of that 
some of it had to do with the, the election. The election. Yeah. Because the mask thing. Okay, if you think about it in a symbolic way. Okay. That is to keep you shut up, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, in a symbolic way. It's like a muzzle. Sure. And they didn't want people talking with each other normally, like they normally would in any other year, right? Right. I mean, I think it's part of it. I don't think it's all of it, but it's all, it is for sure control. Oh, that there was there was certainly a large part of it to deal with them being able to push the uh, the election propaganda because of course it was all fraud, um, but yeah. it's it's always been all fraud. But now um, they did it in such a way that anybody with you know one eye open could could see the amount of fraud that was being pushed out there. Uh, all those uh, election night shenanigans. Uh, right. where, where they just shut everything down, and when they opened it back up, all of the results were were flipped from from Trump to yeah. Biden. So, uh, and, then, and then if you went and mentioned, hey, this is election fraud, you got banned from any place you could actually talk about it, where where right. somebody was able to hear it, uh, whether that be on your Twitters or your Facebook or your YouTube or whatever, uh, any of the any of the big uh, you know social media places. Which I don't really still understand how YouTube is social media, but they call it that. Um, right. Uh, eh, whatever. Um, you can go on there and make comments. I guess that's social media. I guess. Uh, I, 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 <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but uh, so that that was certainly part of it. Um, and then, of course, now with with the vaccines, if you point out the fact that, well, they're not really. It's 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 not a vaccine, right? And so if you so if you uh, go over there to, to your social media and you publish stuff showing that, no, it's not a max vaccine. It's only experimental. It's causing right. damage to people. Uh, yeah. they'll, they'll ban your ass immediately on that uh, right. for, for, for and, saying you things. Know, yeah. And any friends that you have that don't think like you do, they will be gone. <laughs> oh, yeah. They, they don't want to hear it. They, 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 they don't. They, they buy don't. into it, so... It's, you can't, I mean, I don't talk about politics on Facebook for sure. Yeah. A little bit on Twitter, but not really on social media at all. Right. Um, yeah, because it's just, it's, the people that bought into this whole thing, they don't get it. They they, yeah, no, they they absolutely refuse to get they it. They don't get it, dude. They they do not get it. They they think the government they trust the government on some level. Sure. They have to in order to be able to do these things, do what you're told, you know, and don't ask don't question it or anything. Just do it. Uh, l l let me ask you something. Yeah. Um yeah. is your uh vol your mic volume is there could you bring it up some? Hang on. It wasn't by my face. Oh, okay. That's better. Better? Yeah, much better. All right. Okay, yeah, duh. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, um, it, it's just, it's sad to me in a way. It makes me feel bad somehow. Yeah. More for them than me, you know? Um, well, right. But they are, they are, uh, by believing as they do and, and, acting as they do, causing damage to us all. Uh, right. And they don't think about that. They think, because they're told, it's it's still a big mi yeah, mind yeah. F, right? Yeah, because yeah. they do what they're told, and then it's to keep people to buy it, too. So, oh, they, they use catchphrases like, we're all in this together. Yeah, all kinds of just, you we know. We all get, you know. The nonsense We all propaganda. have to do our part. And it's this guilt tripping, and that's how they get a lot of people. Oh, sure, sure. You know? Yeah. And, well, I'm going to kill Grandma. <laughs> right, right. Oh, you boy. You know, you're going to kill Grandma. If you, don't, if you go around your grandparent, you, you're going to kill them. Right, just, just by, and it don't matter. You may not be sick. You don't have anything. Right. But, but just being out there breathing, you're going to kill Grandma. So, right. Yeah. And then the main reason I have not wanted to be tested, for one thing, I never have been sick. I've never had any symptoms. I've never been sick. I'm not going to, you know what I mean? Sure. 
and why should I be tested for something if I am not sick? Right, just so they can tell you you are sick. Right, and if then let's say I go get tested, right? right. I have no symptoms or whatever. Uh-huh. They test me, they're like, oh, you're positive. Right. I'd be like, I don't fucking think so. And they, <laughs> well, and they, they, <laughs> then you could go back the next day and you would test negative and the day after test positive. Right, uh, and I, so I don't trust the test. No. For one thing. No. Well, don't trust. And it's just, I, you know, if they want to make you do certain things to do certain things like travel or go to concerts or you know, that's fine. I'll deal with that. Um, but I'm certainly not going to get tested just so I can go to a concert. I would hope I'm not. I'm not going to get that shot just so I can go to a freaking concert. I would hope not. I mean, I do not trust them. Why would you partially trust known liars? I, I have no idea how that would how be. How can you partially trust somebody? Uh, I I don't think you can. I think you trust them or you don't. You either don't. do or you don't. Uh, yeah, There's yeah. no gray area there. Uh, you know, there was always that one saying, I think it was a Reagan saying, mm-hmm. trust but verify. Yeah. Which that that's always bothered the hell out of me. Yeah. I, I mean, if you trust them, then you don't, there's no need to verify. Right. I mean, if you trust what this person is telling you, that's it. You trust it. Yeah. So if you're verifying, you're saying, I don't trust. Right. <laughs> I mean, you can't half trust somebody. No, it no. It does not work that way. No, no. No, it, it, it's 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 lunacy. Um, yeah, it's like, well, I, be, I think they're telling the truth about this because I trust the FD, FC, or FD, FDA. FDA or, or... I trust Fauci. Fraud like, you don't even know anything about this man, but yeah, you're putting your trust and faith in someone you don't even freaking know that does not give a crap about you. Exactly. And, and he's a known liar. And, and he's mocking you. Be- because of the AIDS thing. Look up his history of the AIDS epidemic and get back to me, because the guy is a P.O.S., all right? And you can see that he's mocking you when he when he's up there talking, too. Right. He lies constantly because yeah. he, he constantly blinks his eyes. He just looks like he's lying, okay? Yeah. And you can go by that sometimes. Right. You it's, can go it's... by body language to tell if someone's lying or not. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I am going by experience not to trust the, them, okay? Sure, sure. I mean... Have they done anything horrible to me? Kind of. But not so much where they injured me, you know what I mean? Yeah, sure. But what they're doing to all of us and what they did do and what they've been doing before, even before the COVID is abusing us. Oh, absolutely. Mentally, psychologically, uh, physically, because wearing a mask is not good for you, okay? That is physical abuse. Oh, yeah, all kinds of problems springing up from those masks. All kinds of so, problems. Uh, people must love this abuse, and they must feel that they need a babysitter, they need to be told what to do, they need someone else to make their decisions for them. Really? Did you lose your brain all of a sudden? Uh, yeah. You know, come on. Uh, those, Don't uh... you... Well, I know they're lying about this and that over there, but they wouldn't lie about this over here. Uh, the, the, these, uh, these particular baby... Hello? These particular babysitters seem to have that, uh, what's it called? Munchausen by proxy? Munchausen by proxy, yep. yeah. Yeah, they, 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 they want to kill you. Um, <laughs> or they at least want to make you sick so they, right. can, so they can pretend to make you feel better. Uh, <laughs> which is, which is uh, that, 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 that uh, condition. Uh, that uh, they'll, they'll keep you sick at, uh, you know, just at a certain level, just above dying. Uh, so that they could say, oh, well, we have the thing to fix you up right here. We, we, right, ha- right. we have the cure for you. And only through us can you ever be well. Uh, right. Which, which is... Bull crap. Uh, absolute nonsense. Uh, they, right, because uh, uh, there's so many natural things out there that you can use in place of all of their crap. Well, no, all of their big pharma crap. Screw it. <laughs> no, not, not only that, but if you just ignore them, you'll never feel the sickness in the first place. 
right? <laughs> if you if you never do what they're saying, this is what you have to do, then you're gonna be just fine, you know. Unless you got something else right. going, you, you may have something else going wrong with you, which of course they will account as as their their disease, uh, even though it wasn't their disease, because mm -hmm. well they they feel better about themselves that way. They can say say, oh look, all the people that we've saved here. Yeah. 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 They like to take creds for sure. Oh yeah. But it. it so like so like I say, if you got your uh, your, your tin foil hat on and it's a nice, strong, industrial mm -hmm. powered one, you'll be able to <laughs> to notice uh, that that everything they're telling you is twisted in some way or another. Yeah. Um, yeah, just like this. Even thing. omission of facts is also lying, guys. Right. Okay. But but if, but if, but if you look at the uh, the they put out themselves that the flu, yeah. the number of people it with flu, yeah, it dropped by ninety nine percent. And oh, figure. Yeah. Right. And and, and amazingly, the amazingly ba basically the same amount of people that they say have COVID were the missing from the flu roll. <laughs> right. <laughs> And then, uh, you know, I'm sorry, but a curfew? Oh, that's crazy. Some places? What? Right, That yeah. makes absolutely no sense at all. I mean, the, the viruses can't tell time, guys. Okay. Corona wears a watch. Right. <laughs> and I, it can tell time, and it only is, is you're only going to catch it during certain times of the day. And, and Corona also wears an altimeter, so it knows whether you're standing or sitting. Uh, right. Because if you're sitting, you're all right. If you're standing, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> look, look the hell out! Um, <laughs> and you still got people do, you know, and people bought into this fear so easily. Like it blows my mind still today. Uh, you know? uh, co corona can also control wind currents because apparently, well, because once it has gone six feet, it just shuts down. Right, right there, right Gone. there, right there at that six foot marker. Yeah. Now I heard they were thinking. And this is a while back, and I haven't heard anything about it since. But I heard they were thinking about making it a three foot uh, limit instead of a six foot limit, uh, basically because a lot of businesses couldn't accommodate the six foot limit. Um, but they, that kind of came and went. You know, one of their little wild ideas uh, that, that they and right. the, the magic. And then now also. Um, mm -hmm. because they were saying for months and months that Corona lives on surfaces. Now, right, they were saying that for yeah, months and months. Now it doesn't. Now it, it magically do, cannot it exist. It doesn't know, right? It can't, it can't exist on a surface. So uh, whatever they tell you, whenever it's convenient for them to tell you the opposite, they will. And you'll just amazingly, magically forget about all right. the stuff you'd been hearing about it for, for all the previous months. Um, right. Uh, you and, know. And, okay. So when it first came out, you know, people were overreacting, obviously, because the toilet paper sold out, the wipes well, sold out. You know, any, you know, it's yeah. just like okay. Yeah. Well, the thing about that is, a lot of that is, mm -hmm. and the, the, a lot of the photos we saw coming out of China at the very beginning, photos and videos of people dying in the streets, just falling right. over. Um, right. Those all disappeared. Those are all gone. Yeah. There, there, gone. There, there's none of that anymore. None of that was actual or true. Um, but but those right. were being published and pushed big time yep. at the beginning to freak people out that, oh, no, if I get this right. uh, amazing new miracle disease, I'm going to just walk down the street and die. Just drop dead. Yeah, right. just just fall over. Boom. Uh, and, and you know you're you're fine and healthy one minute and next minute you're follow you're on the street bleeding out. Of course, none of those people were bleeding, right. like n none of the people ever bleed in in the false flag things. You know. <laughs> the gullibility and the paranoia level yeah. are off the charts, dude. I mean, people like when it first happened to, and then with the glove thing, oh. that drove me crazy, dude. Because they weren't doing it right. No. Or if, if in fact that was on surfaces like they said, and people were wearing gloves, the, the people wearing gloves were spreading it around worse. Okay. Sure. Because you have to change a glove after you touch each thing. Right. If which you're being totally sanitary and hygienic. Which of course it. nobody does. Um, no. And 
Um, and then there's the whole thing. Oh, oh, and then, oh, use hand sanitizer. But then all these companies started making hand sanitizer. On it. Vodka companies started making it. But they started pushing it. Then, like, a, a month later, like, oh, there's toxic stuff in the hand sanitizer, right, guys. Right, Oops. Oops. And, and they give you a list of all the hand sanitizers that are terrible for you. And you should, you know what I mean? Right. It's stuff like that that just irks me. And and, and now there's the uh, thing with the masks. They yeah. are everywhere. They're all over yeah. the place. People just toss them whenever they take them off, and they're they're all over. Like I saw, I found some out here in the in the field that's right next to me. <laughs> oh, there's no people here. I don't know even know where that <laughs> comes from. But this 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 empty field between me and the motorcycle shop. Uh, the, uh, there's the high, blue ones, right? The blue paper uh, ones well, that the, are the, absolutely worthless. The ones I saw were white, but whatever. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Either way, it's a vacant field, um, and, right. and I, I guess maybe somebody's. I don't know where where they had their mask where they're walking around out there in the field, but um, yeah. apparently they decided they didn't need it anymore and they threw it down on the ground. No, Grim. What? Can't hear you. I can't hear me. No, uh, something happened. Hello, I hello. Know, if I was the one that heard it, or if everybody can you can, it, can you sure. hear me now? Yep. Okay. You're good now. All right. I don't I, know I, what happened. I don't know either. Um, I didn't maybe see. Maybe the NSA is listening. Maybe, maybe Joe Biden's listening. <laughs> no, he's not. He can't hear. He can't talk. He, no, he can't hear shit, dude. Oh, camel toe. Anyway, maybe, uh, maybe, I would think maybe maybe Camel Toe is listening, but yeah, then, then again, where I am is not very far from the border, so she wouldn't want to be here. Yeah, and <laughs> speaking of the border, I haven't seen, like, much of a story in the last couple of days about it. Did it just, like, clean itself up? Uh, uh, has, no. The, has the, the bitch gone down there yet? No. <laughs> I mean, what are they doing? I, I, I don't know what they're doing. They're uh, not doing anything. Yeah, I, I mean they're, they're packing. Well, you know, they're arresting gang members though in Georgia. Great Mexican cartel guys. Okay. I guess it's okay for them to be here. Oh wow! Well, well, we just yeah. what we need. New Mexico cartel dudes running around. Uh, New New Mexico has a lot of Mexican cartel. Um, oh, I bet they're and, right on the border. Know, yeah, yeah, and you know, so Albuquerque is full of uh, various MS thirteen. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, other other Mexican drug gangs, uh, which I guess maybe that'll lessen. Maybe the, the Mexican cartel gangs will lessen since we have legal weed now. Um, I, I don't know what they sell or push, but right. Uh, if they're selling weed, then they're going to be well, maybe not shit out of luck because they can always underprice the state. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think it's more like heroin and meth. Yeah, probably so. Um, I think that is so, but, um, yeah, four MS-13 gang members are arrested after cops spot them lifting the wrap-up body of a woman into a trunk of a car in New York. Oh, this was New York. Oh, okay. So, great. Yeah. MS-13, that's a Mexican drug. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's, the big, that's the big one, yeah. Yeah. So, that's what... Biden's America. Biden wanted apparently the Biden administration. I don't even say Biden anymore because he's not running the show. Oh no, of course not. It's the Pentagon or Kamala or whoever, because it, but it's not him. He, it's, there's no way he no. It, it's the Rothschilds. And all this uh, Putin and Ru this Russia stuff. No, it's oh my god. I didn't. I did not watch it today. The speech. Apparently he gave one. Biden did. Uh, I had no but, idea. Um, why piss off Russia? It, it makes no sense, does it? No. Why, and, and, why would you want to purposely piss off Russia? Well, well and, and here's another thing about that. Okay, mm -hmm. they're 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 trying to say that Russia uh, was uh, meddling with the election. They had they had hacked. Right. They had, was, no, that's not true. Right. Okay, but. Back right when, when you know when they were counting up the results, quote unquote results. Right. Um, they were saying this was the cleanest, most secure election ever. Right. There was no meddling. There was nothing. But now that that's kind of like uh, two months in the in the rear view, 
Now it's all yeah. right. Russia, Russia was meddling with the election. Uh, now, right. now, now that, and I guess it's okay if it comes out of the current administration instead of out of the previous one. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. So uh, it, 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 it's yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. Putin pissed. He shut off some. What did he do? He shut off the Kerch Strait to all foreign warships. Okay. And Biden apparently asked him to de-escalate at the Ukrainian border and refrain from military action. Yeah, well, Bob, Biden was like, "Oh, we'll come and get you. We're, we won't. Yeah, we're gonna get you." Yeah. And he put, pissed off Putin. He really did. Boy, he's pushing all these big sanctions on Russia. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if, Why? If, he, if he's saying de-escalate, at the same time he's imposing sanctions. Right. right. Well, there, there's there's a little problem Oxymoron. there. Yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely a problem, you know. Um, yeah. <laughs> and no talk about the border for like three days in the mainstream news, quote unquote. No, no. All, it, it's all about this kid that right. got murdered by a pig. Which happened right down the street from the courthouse where where Chauvinist is being tried. No, 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 Grim. Ten miles. Okay, because I, I, I heard that the protests were going on just down the street for, from from the Chauvinist trial. No, no, no. No, the protests are being at the government center where the trial is. But this kid, this happened in Brooklyn Center. It's a, it's, it's not Minneapolis. It's a suburb of Minneapolis. All right, well. It's it, but it's not far, okay? okay? Like, from the border of Minneapolis, that's not where the government center is. So that, I'd have to, like, look on Google Maps to verify the exact distance between the two locations, but not close to each other. Okay. I, I, I just heard it was right down the road, so. But, you know, and people are like, well, don't break the law. Okay. People don't think about this, but hanging something from your rear view mirror a cop can pull you over for that. They can pull you over for anything. They'll make something up. Right, with... but they can for that. They can say it's a vision obstruction or something. Yeah, they can say whatever they want, right. Right. Well, anyway, they, they will, if they want to, pull you over for that. Or expired tabs. They can, right. They will pull you over for expired license plate or no plate or whatever. And I don't, I have to still verify that part of this story. But when he called his mother from the car, he said, they say I have too many air fresheners hanging from my rear view, rear view mirror. And she's like, well, just take them down. Well, I'm, like, I, I'm at that point, I'm like, lady, that's not going to work at this point. You know what I mean? How many air fresheners does he have? Who knows? He's, you know, these kids when they're young and they're in the 20s, Grim. Yeah. You know, and I don't know. They're, it's a kid. I mean, a twenty-year-old to me is a kid. Okay. Sure. Anyway, um, from the video I saw, they say he was resistant. I didn't resisting. I did not see him resisting. What I saw was the one cop had him out of the car with this cuffs in his hand, was ready to cuff him, and then another cop comes up from behind, and somehow they get this kid back into the car. And they're trying to say that was resisting. It looked to me like they put him back in the cock, right? Right. And he wasn't doing anything, and she's holding her gun to him, saying, taser, taser, when she doesn't have a taser. She has her Glock 17 or whatever the hell it is. Right. He shoots, he, she shoots him once, and he dies. Yeah. They, and he, he was in the driver's seat. The car must have been still been running because after they shot him, his foot must have hit the gas, and he went, like, across the street and crashed into, the, like, a something you know not far away okay so it but, wasn't yeah. it wasn't in park then no it couldn't have been well i don't know maybe he put it in park quick or i don't know maybe he was still alive enough it's a, i don't know yeah but um it had to have been in park when they had him outside the car because the car wasn't moving okay well i didn't watch any video on it or nothing but <sighs> I'm talking about this because the way they are just trying to justify this is by she saying she thought she had her chaser, which is a piss poor excuse. Right. Because you know that if you're a 26 year old veteran of the police force, you know the damn difference between a taser and a freaking gun. 
You would think so. <laughs> and that kid was posing no threat. And I'm sorry, people are like bringing up his past offenses that there was a mis- uh, he had a warrant for a misdemeanor or something. Mm-hmm. That doesn't matter. No, it doesn't because matter. The, cop, the, the pigs still don't have a right to be judge, jury, and executioner for a, getting pulled over for having too many light uh, air fresheners hanging from your rear view mirror. Okay? Yeah. That doesn't equal someone has to die because of that. No, I, I think there's no way in hell this should have happened. I, I think they were they were looking for it. They wanted something to happen for I, I don't know somehow in connection with this Chauvin trial. Probably because it's going. It's right in the midst of it. Right, and it's pretty close, and and uh, yeah, so yeah, but there's an even worse story than that one. But this, the kid had a gun supposedly, but a 13 year old in Chicago. Um, okay, they just released this today, and I just heard about this story today. Um, body camera footage of Chicago police officer fatally shooting a 13 year old boy appears to show the teen had put his hands up right before the cop opened fire. Um, Police say the teen had a handgun on him that morning. The body cam footage shows the officer shining a light on a handgun on the ground near Toledo after he shot him. Um, But anyway, they just released the body cam footage today. This kid was 13. Um, So it, it... yeah, they killed uh they killed some sixteen year old, I think it was on Tuesday. Mm-hmm. Um they said he had an airsoft gun and a knife. Oh really? Uh, a white guy though. He was a white guy, so you see oh, okay. so you didn't hear about it. Um No. Yeah. Of course not. Yeah. Uh, I forget. I mean, okay, so they charged this pig with uh second degree manslaughter. But in that case where that woman was in the alley in her under her pajamas, Grim, mm-hmm. that cop was black. Okay. They charged him with murder, <laughs> you know. Okay. And he's doing 12 years. Right. But now you get the reverse, and this white cop, she gets manslaughter. But it's not. It's murder, too. It's, just, it's murder again. Yeah. But... It, so it's just well, you gotta be, the racism thing. They promoted this forever, you guys. They want everyone to be divided. That's why they keep racism going. That's why a lot of things are the way they are. Sure. And uh, I, I'm sorry, but hanging air fresheners hanging from your rear view mirror. Is not a crime. Uh, no, no, I, you know, uh, even if they have a code, it's an infraction at best. Right. Normally, they would give you a ticket, a warning for that, either yeah. a warning or a ticket. Yeah. You know, most if you're a good cop, or which is, I don't know if they exist, but a, a fair cop would be like, oh, here, you know, just don't have those air, fr- so many hair fresh, don't have anything hanging from your rearview mirror. Right. You know, from now on or whatever. You know what sure, I mean? Sure, sure. But no, this guy, it just doesn't make any sense. And the cops haven't stopped their doing using the tactics. You know, with all this protesting and crap, nothing's changed. Yeah, that's true. Nothing's changed. They're still doing their shit. Right. I mean, the, the one that they, the cops shot in the back and paralyzed that guy, that was a bullshit one, too, in Kenosha, oh, Wisconsin. Right, right. So, there's just, they ha- I mean, Grim and I did Freakers for 13 years, and I've said this before, but that could have been our only topic for 13 years, every Freakers. The whole Freakers is police brutality. Oh, yeah. Well, we could just make a show called Police Brutality and yeah. have, have enough content for every, every every day, two hours a day or four hours a day. Right. Um, <laughs> I, I, and we, we would never run out. I mean, the the, the, the uh, amount of... And then the cop, the cop that shot that lady at the Capitol thing. Right. He's not being charged. No, of course not. No. 
So they're still given different treatment. Oh, If yeah. one of us killed somebody, we'd be locked up, dude. Right. You know, they wouldn't, they'd throw the book at us, dude. We wouldn't be getting any uh, paid vacations. No. No. And it, it's just, you know, I don't care. I'm not, I'm, whatever you guys think about whatever, the cops are out of control, okay? The pigs are out of control in this country. Mm hmm So, and it's been that way for a long time. My whole life, that's for sure. My whole life, too. Yeah. You know, um, they they cheat, they lie, they do all kinds of nasty shit to you, because they know, you know what, they're going to get away with it. Exactly. They're, they're going to get away with it. So they do whatever. There's no... Uh, Consequences. You know, there's, you're right. There's no consequences. They don't feel remorse. They don't have to. No. They, well, you know, they, they would have to consider you to be, you know, equal to them for them to feel remorse. And, right. Uh, and they don't. No. <laughs> they do not. And there might be some good cops out there, but I'm I'm sorry, guys. If, if you're a good cop, all the bad ones are making you look like a piece of shit, too. No. If you were a good cop, you would either be fired or, or killed. Right, uh, because you wouldn't put up with the cheating and the evidence planting and all every other right. tactic they do. Uh, when you when you report that kind of stuff, they're gonna your your buddies, your brothers, are gonna come kill you because or call you a traitor or whatever. Well, uh, didn't call it whatever, yeah. but they'll do they'll do bad things to you and your family um, if you you know point them out the fact that 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 uh, this is what they're doing and how they're acting. Uh, the the rest of the cops will come for you. So you'll you'll either get fired right away, uh, or or you'll right. be you'll be killed. Maybe maybe just imprisoned. Uh, they'll, they'll they'll find a way to get you for uh, something. Yeah. If those you lines. don't play the game, so you know, like they do. So so make sure uh, you you understand what what you're seeing when you see it. Uh, strap right. The, strap the tinfoil hat on. That will yep. that will help you to. Free your mind, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> Aluminum foil. Well, that's not tin anymore. It's well, tin. you could you could still get you could still get tin foil. Um, okay. Okay. But Good it's it's not not at your grocery store. But, right. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, it's a specialty product. Yeah, because you, you gotta just. I don't know. I, I've been seeing this crap going on my whole life, Grim, like you said, you know? Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, me um, too, from, you know, from being a little kid till now. So, yep, yep. Um, yeah, they, 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 and, but now it's just so, you know, with the, with the internet. Um, yeah. The, the, it's just so visible now. Um, right, right. And, and then I did like one of the family members was speaking, though, and they said, they were talking to the media and they're like, we need you to, like, Tell the truth, you know, because right. media takes the side of the pigs all the time, every time. Dude. Of course, of course they do. They are on the pig side. <laughs> because the uh, the pigs work for the state and, and the media loves the state or is part of the state or however you want to look at it. Um, so, right. Yeah, of course. I mean, the cops get still get a lot, in a lot of cases, the cops get treated like they're freaking guardian freaking angels and then they're good people. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. how they get portrayed. And you know, I don't, they used to use protect and serve in a lot of cities, like on the car or whatever. Right. Like that was their, their slogan or whatever. Their motto. It, it, yeah. I don't think many are using that. It, they, they've changed it a little bit, but some still use that. And it's like, oh, yeah, protect and serve. Not me. You're not protecting and serving me, dude. I don't freaking, you know, I'm not your boss. You know, I'm not one of you. No. Protect and serve themselves. That's what it should say. Ourselves. Well, protect and serve the state, not not the people. Right, exactly. Not, not, not the people. Right, uh, right. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I, I, I've i said for a long time, there are no good cops. If any any person that was a cop in order to be a good cop you'd have to either quit uh yeah. be, be fired or or have something bad happen to you with the rest of the cops cuz uh and you're not supposed to have a conscience when you're a cop 
No, no, not at all. Not at all. Right. Or empathy. Or sympathy. Or a brain. Right. That's yeah, you don't I mean. have to have any of those things to be a cop. Actually, if you do have a brain, you can't be one of them because uh, I, think, smart. I think they have an upper IQ limit of 80. Um, yeah. <laughs> which, which is, um, I don't know how many people you've spoken to that have an 80 IQ, but that's not a fun conversation. No. That, uh, those those people are not bright. Um, no. It's amazing they can get their pants on. <laughs> I'm, so, <laughs> I'm joking, but I'm serious. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, and then, you know, okay, so Jay, uh, we have the two MRAs that came out, AstraZeneca and Pfizer. And then J&J supposedly is an actual vaccine, right? Right. But now they suspended that one. Sure. Because of blood problems with blood clotting in some women it was. It was right. like six and they don't, even, died. They, they don't even point out all the problems with the, with the mRNA ones. No. no, they no. Have, and people have died from that, too. Oh, of course. Plenty of them. Um, yeah. And the thing, I think the reason is they, they don't want a non-mRNA vaccine out there. Um, so, right. So if they can... They they can you know blackball J and J make people say oh I don't want that I might have a brain a brain clot blood clot in my brain right. um, yeah yeah yeah, well. yeah which of course they don't realize that uh, all the other problems they're going to have with with the other ones um, so the right. be- the best vaccine to get is no vaccine None. no right. vaccine at all um, right and, and, and if you you look at the the fact that uh, ninety nine point nine nine percent of the people, if they had something called Corona in the first place, which I have my strong doubts about, um, then then they'll be fine. Uh, there's going to be no problem. Now I saw some idiot posted a meme the other day showing that all of the vaccines mm-hmm. are for are for diseases that have a ninety nine plus percent uh, recovery rate. So if all right. the all the flus and such, you don't die. Most people don't, you know, ninety nine point nine nine percent of the people don't die from the flu. Just like right. they're, they're not gonna die from uh, from from the corona nonsense. Um, uh, so okay, well, are you thinking that want to make more people want to take vaccine? I think it does the opposite for you. If yeah. you if you want to, because it was like you know one of those medical people putting out. Oh, oh yeah, you need the vaccine. It's good. It's just as good as all the rest. Well, there, there you go. It's just as good as all the rest. Right. <laughs> that, that means no good at all. Uh, there, I mean, there's people going around going, "I'm vaccinated. I'm good to go now. I'm safe." Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, good for you. With a little virtue signaling going on. Oh, big time. <laughs> Posting up their their vaccine cards on the interwebs. With their birth date on there. Uh, and their name. Uh, yeah. Uh, right. Yeah, uh, on Facebook. Wherever, man. They just post it up there like, here, here you go. Steal, steal my identity. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's <laughs> and it's, it's a personal thing. If you want to advertise the fact that you're a dumbass, go for it. But you know what? And don't even ask me if I've got the shot because it's none of your business. And that is what I will tell you. Exactly. And if you think that means I didn't get the shot, good, because I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know? Boy. And if they're going to try to make my kid get the shot so he can continue in college, he needs to drop the fuck out. Right. Seriously, if they're not going to allow you to exempt, opt out of it, screw that. Is this fourth, the Fourth Reich, the Fifth Reich, or what? Uh, you know, have we gone down that road already? It appears. It appears. Are um, we there yet? <sighs> um, I think so. But, I think we're rapidly approaching it, yeah. I, I think we are there, but we're not having fun yet. No. Yeah. Yeah, it's just... Now they're going to reimburse people if your loved one died of COVID-19. Oh, great. Here's $2,000. Yeah, here's some funeral expenses cost now. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, a federal program launched this week. But you know, help, you know, you know, you know, all those people dying from taking the vaccine, they're heroes. Yeah. Yeah, they're they're they're, they're the real heroes. They they gave their life so that you could be vaccinated. 
And the one lady they interviewed that got DVT, which is deep vein thrombosis, which is basically blood clots. Uh-huh. Um, she said, oh, I, I still recommend people get it. Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, what? <laughs> it's like, screw you, lady. She, she's a skill. She's you a get skill. sick from it and all messed up. You're hospitalized, and you're telling people to still go out and get it. She's a shill. God, yeah. Yeah. Probably and not I, even, probably made up. Well, who knows, but. Right. Yeah, who knows whether any of this stuff is true. Uh, right, you, know, you don't it, know. It, it, it has mo I can usually pick it apart. Though. Well, that's because that's you have a tinfoil hat. Right. You, 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 you and don't... I'm not succumbing to the turmoil. Right. Right. So, yeah. Um, thanks, Billy. Um, <laughs> yeah, thanks, Billy, for an awesome song. Yeah. Billy Strings. Yeah. And, uh, really, they're, they're running the sirens again. What's that? They just did that this morning. What do you, what do you got going? Slavering. It's a statewide oh. tornado drill today. Ah, uh, well, you should, it's time because uh, I don't know if you saw the pictures of the hail that I posted there in the chat earlier. But, no, uh, I had to look at the radar. I mean, they, got, they, like they two, already did it today. Though. They, they got like no. two, two and a half inch hail coming down in Texas. Oh, um, really? Two oh, and a half God. inch. Okay. That's that's big hail. Wow. That, that's yeah, that, that's that's damaging not just to property but also to people. Right. Um, they're no, they're doing a drill right but, now. But it's but not, but yeah. but if if you're getting hail like that coming in now, tornadoes right. tornadoes are close behind. Right. Um, you, you don't get that kind of hail without without no. the uh, conflict of warm and cold fronts, just like tornadoes. Uh, so uh, those, right. they, those those will be we're we're about to tornado season mid April here. Um, right. Yeah. So, well, that's uh, what they do it to like make us aware of it, or I don't know why. Yeah. They're so, testing the sirens or whatever. Uh, they already did it once today, though. So. You you guys don't get a whole lot of tornadoes up there, right? Uh, we we can. Oh yeah, I mean, but you don't get a lot. Of, you're not like Kansas. Not like the tornado alley. Not like Oklahoma, Texas, Kansas. No, no. Right, no. right. Okay. We've had some bad ones here though in Wisconsin and Minnesota, but um, I've seen one. I've lived through a couple. Oh, okay. I, I lived in the yeah. cities, yeah. yeah. I don't, I don't think I was I've, a kid. I don't think I've ever actually seen one live in person. I saw one. <laughs> it was far away, but it freaked me out, dude. Yeah, there was there was no tornadoes in San Diego, of course, and uh, Moriarty, personally, is this town has never had a tornado, although there have been tornadoes in New Mexico. Um, yeah, but mostly on you know like on the Texas border. Um, uh, and I mean, tornadoes can usually can happen anywhere. Right? Oh right, right, they can. Right, they, but they, exactly. Um, more uh, more more areas are prone to them than others. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, I mean you know here there's none of this stuff you know we don't have earthquakes, tornadoes, floods. Um, that's good. Any of those I don't know natural disasters or. Or uh, harp disasters, <laughs> right? <laughs> or or whatever, but uh, yeah. So so um, uh, I was chatting. Uh, we were talking about prepping and stuff in another chat room in the aftermath chat, actually. And um, yeah, that was Clyde's topic last night, right? No, it was ketchup, lack of ketchup, and how the food, the, the food, the supply chain is is fucked up right now. Right, I heard him talking about prepping and how his house was jammed with stuff, and because right. he's, he's been buying so much, you know, uh, long term food. Um, right. And I mean, he didn't he didn't directly mention prepping, but everything he was doing was prepping. Right. Yeah. And no, but I was there's a person in there that's really all for Bitcoin and stuff, which I and. Linux, okay? Great. But tell me this, Grim. Okay. If the grid goes down, all computer, all internet shit is useless, right? Yes. You have to have power to run a freaking computer. Yes. Unless you've got a generator or something back up, you're screwed if your internet goes down. I'm just saying, it don't matter if you're on Linux or not. Exactly. You still need power to power the machine, right? Y yes, you do. So that was my point. You know, there. Well, that's not going to happen. It could. What do you mean? It's not going to happen. Just like tyranny ain't going to happen. Well, right. <laughs> no. Uh, but yeah, if 
okay, if the grid goes down, and everybody points this out a lot, uh, if you if you didn't have access to the internet, computers, okay, all this Bitcoin you have is worthless because yep, because right. you can't you can't access it. Well, you know what? what? All all the money you have in the bank is worthless it's too, useless too because right. you can't access that either. You can't. No. You, if you have cash in your hand, you can't go over to the store and spend it because they can't run their freaking registers. They right. can't. Most of them can't even open their doors without power. Um, right. So if the grid goes down, well, unless you have something physical like food, ammo, uh, other st- other prepping type stuff, right? You're shit out of luck. Uh, yeah. And and that goes for as wide as as the power outage goes. And exactly. for, and for as long as the power outage goes, if a, if a huge CME came through and yep. knocked out the power all over Earth, right for months, then well, it would be a mess. The, 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 there would there would be destruction, mass destruction everywhere within days. Yeah, within yep. days, if not right. uh, if not hours, um, uh, be, because people you know. If people could realize that this was a widespread thing and their power wasn't coming back for months mm-hmm. uh, at, at a minimum, then it, it would all, I mean, this would be Mad Max on steroids. Um, right. <laughs> you know, there'd be no messing around there. So it's great, too, if you're a mm-hmm. prepper and you've got right. all, all your stuff stocked up. But if other people know that you're a prepper and you got all your stuff stocked up, guess what? Guess where they're going? <laughs> hey, he's got st- – there was a – was a, I think it was a Twilight Zone episode uh, uh-huh. where this guy had built a little, uh, you know, bomb shelter thing. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. I remember. Yeah, that. yeah and all, all his neighbors yeah. all his neighbors laughed at him. Oh, he doesn't right. – you know, that's so goofy. And then they pounded on his door and – broke in yeah. there and they wanted to you kill him shit, man. yeah because he had, he had food he had water you know uh right. and, and he, had, he had a safe place to stay from the fallout and uh right. yeah and 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 he was like no 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 i only got enough for my family down here we, we told you to build yours yeah but we didn't listen so yeah, now we you know you it must be something on your headset yeah, maybe. Because I, I mean, I'm watching. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm watching the, uh, the audacity. Yeah. 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 So it's got, you got no maybe worries. a poor connection there. Uh, yeah. 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 Uh, so in, anyway, um, be a prepper. That's a good thing. It's smart, and even but if you just pick one thing to prep, you don't, know. Well, you got to have enough for a rounded. Yeah. Situation if something ever happens. Uh, right. But but don't let people know you're a freaking prepper. Um, right. At, at least those people that are local to you. Um, yeah. <laughs> because uh, that that's setting yourself up for a bad bad situation. Uh, yeah. 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 Um, yep. I mean, people wouldn't know what to do if that happened. That would be a major thing to happen if the grid went down. Oh yeah, but you know, and, 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 major major. But you need to have enough um, some various sorts of supplies for. To last right. for uh, whatever period of time, um, and that's something something for you to decide. Right. My and issue. Trade, I mean, bartering and trade could easily become a reality, people. So. Yeah, my, my issue out here is going to be water, because right. there ain't no freaking water, and I have water stored a good yeah few days worth. Um, <laughs> which which will not cut it. Um, no. <laughs> uh, but but I mean you know there's only you only have so much room to store stuff and and you got to cycle through that water periodically so it doesn't go bad on you because water does go bad. Um, it can yeah. You know? Yeah yeah so uh, you know so you got to cycle through all of your your prep supplies from time to time. Um, and, and you should have a you know some kind of a a system a, a, a first in first out system FIFO system, uh, right? The, the, for doing that, you know, because if you keep on buying new stuff and you and you put all the new cans in the front uh, of of the other ones, uh, then when when you go to get something, you either just got to yeah. start grabbing from the back, or else when you initially store it, uh, you do do it that way. Um, and you could yep. use you could use whatever color coded system or whatever. 
Uh, but you, but you got to keep records uh, on that for for those kind of things. Yeah. Um, I'm not saying any of this is going to happen, but the possibility no. is there. Uh, and and with with well, uh, look what happened in Texas last winter. Right. Yeah. And I was people just people were screwing. People froze to death down there. Dude, right. Because their power went out. Right. For many people, it was not a good situation at but, all down there. But, but with, uh, you know, the various governments of the world trying to stir up shit with each other, uh, right. and the fact that they do have EMP bombs uh, right. that, that could take out, you know, a country, uh, yeah. a country's electric grid, um, it's it's not a remote possibility, but it's not, you know, it's not like it's... You could say, "Oh, impossible!" It's not like you could say, "Well, this is going to happen tomorrow," because you you just don't no, know. And you don't know, and you're not going to know. Um, but uh, just uh, right. uh, just remember, regardless of what it is you're reading, um, mm-hmm. to to have that filter, uh, your your brain filter, and you want to call it a tinfoil hat or not, that's up to you. Um, right. But uh, as, as long as you are able to recognize the propaganda as propaganda. And some of it is very cleverly hidden. Um, right. Some of it's not. Some of it's blatant. Uh, but, right. uh But but some of it is very cleverly hidden, and it depends on you know what sources you're 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 understanding and believing. Because uh, if you if you're believing the government sources or or the or the the clap, uh, yeah. then, then you're in they for got a, you. you're in for a world of hurt. Uh, they one, got you. one way right. or another. One way or another. Uh, even though they're going to tell you that's the only way that you can survive, is yeah. by is by listening to them. Okay. And, Whatever. And, yeah, no, that's <laughs> what they'll tell you. Uh, and ah, uh, uh, you know, everybody knows all this stuff here. Hopefully, right. Uh, hopefully. Ho- hopefully, some later, you know, podcast listeners down the line uh, mm-hmm. listen to some of this and say, "Oh, really?" Uh, of right. course, of course, like you said, with. With the mask wearers and the vaccine getters, uh, mm-hmm. they probably won't believe any of it. Um, and, no, you know because they you they've can't been... convince them. They already have their mind made up, so yeah. don't even, I don't even try. Right, they're all pre-programmed. So yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, <laughs> frustrating sometimes, but yeah. All right, we're gonna we're gonna. Is. We're gonna we're gonna wrap it up there. I think. Yep. Um, we'll be back next week, hopefully. Uh, you know, yep. bar, barring any kind of whatever issues. Grid uh, shut down or. Yeah, you know. Yeah, you never know. The, the great media, <laughs> the great meteor may finally come. Yeah. <laughs> I, I I may I may make a, you know a strike it rich with some some strange uh, crypto coin and collect my billions of dollars and never see you again. Right. Nah, <laughs> just kidding. I'll see you. I'll I'll be laughing at you. Ha ha ha! Right, you'll be laughing. <laughs> oh. uh, All right. any, anyway, um, there there uh, Vincent Easley will not be on on uh, tomorrow uh, at okay. uh, at his normal regular time. However, he will be coming on later in the day oh. uh, to to do a interview with Harry Selker of of Harry okay. of Harry and Donna fame. He's going to be. Uh, sim- simulcasting uh, th- that inter- he's going to interview Harry, which uh, Harry, I-, I think Harry said it was going to be a first for him to be the interviewee okay. rather than the interviewer. So that that nice. should be interesting. Nice. And I think that's at uh, five thirty Eastern. I'm not positive on the time, but uh, okay. that seems like about the right time. Um, uh, then on Saturday is Redneck Dentist um, at uh, five Eastern uh, with his show, The Redneck Dentist. Right. Clever, huh? Redneck dentist doing the redneck dentist. Uh, right. Yes, yeah, that's very clever. Uh, which is almost as clever as my my Sunday blues show, which is called Sunday Blues Show. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> and then, then after me is Hal, and then Gary L. Check the schedule on reallybd dot com yep. uh, for all the shows that come up throughout the week. And um, have a great weekend. I guess we could call it weekend. It's tomorrow's Friday. Yep. You know, I I could have sworn mm-hmm. that this was supposed to be Wednesday. I, I, I thought <laughs> that I, happened. I thought all day yesterday it was Tuesday. Oh and, my gosh! And so yeah. when that I got that's happened to me before. Uh, when when oh. I got up this morning, it was like Thursday. What? How'd, the, how'd that happen? Uh, 
<laughs> anyway, thanks everybody for tuning in. Uh, thanks. Uh, I had a good time. Hopefully you did too. Yep. And uh, we will talk to y'all later. Yeah. Peace. Peace.